Okay, hi everybody. We are going to start the hangout number nine. We are going to share the, um, the hangout. Uh, we have a lot of this class to is to develop reading comprehension skill by a text and identify parts of the newspaper or news. Okay. Before to start, we are going to answer these questions. We have three newspapers, and you have to answer the following. What do they have in common? What do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común esas tres imágenes que aparecen ahí abajo? B. How are they similar to or different from each other? How are they similar to or different from each other? Yeah, ¿Qué tienen en similar o en diferencia el uno con el otro? Uh, let us see where else can you find similar text. ¿Dónde puede encontrar en textos similares? Yeah, the idea is that you have to answer, obviously, in the complete form. Okay. Then in the item number two, you have you have to uh, fill the gap with this word in the chart, and the instruction is you have to use the name of the element of a piece of news in the box to match it, uh, with each definition. Okay, A to the G. Okay. The idea is that you have to choose one. The, this part of the newspaper and you have to write in the correct form according to the definition that appear in this part okay it catches your eye and sums up the history it's usually in larger front and often in bold okay so you say what are these words is the best word for this definition okay body byline and headline lead quotation or visual okay this tell who wrote the article and sometimes the journalist specialty this gives the most important information very briefly it supplies additional information. It is divided into a small paragraph. This retail word for word what someone actually said. These are images used to make a text easier to understand or more interesting. And finally, it expresses general conclusion about the topic. Okay, for instance, how I said before, you have to choose this word and write in the correct form according to the definition in this part. Okay, next one, you have to identify and write the part of this piece of news. Okay, news is school for girls around the world, 62 million girls are not in school the white house let's get learn if or aims to change that okay and um, a text about by brenda monroe okay for the instance you have to according to this word okay you have to choose somewhere in special and you have to write here a b c d or e okay what is the best part for this news okay la idea es notar cuál es el título no es cierto cuáles son qué más aparecen acá el título la parte que, que va el encabezado no es cierto las imágenes Todo eso, la idea es que ustedes puedan poder diferenciarlo dónde va, cuál y cómo se llaman. Ya, esa es la idea de esta parte del, de la actividad. 
And then we have a, another text in this part, okay? For instance, before to read this text, uh, you have to write a, only a short answer about the following questions, okay? Vamos a, abajo aparece un texto, ya, y por ende tenemos que responder primero la siguiente pregunta antes de comenzar a leer. Ya, la idea es que la respuesta en este caso sea también de una forma completa, pero no tan, una, una respuesta tan larga, ya. Respuesta que sea corta y precisa. A. In your opinion, what professions are more popular with men or women and why? Ya, en tu opinión, ¿qué profesiones son las más populares de los hombres y de las mujeres y por qué? Ya. B. How is the situation different from your parents' generation? ¿Cuál es la situación distinta de tu, las generaciones de tus papás? ¿Ya? ¿Por qué esta situación es, eh, es distinta? ¿Por qué a veces no todos estudiaron, quizás? ¿Ya? Sí. Is it more difficult for girls to study than it's for boys? Why or why not? ¿Por qué es más difícil para estudiar para las niñas que a diferencia de los varones? ¿Por qué y por qué no? ¿Ya? And last one. Do you think men or women are treated equally at work? Why and why not? ¿Crees que los hombres y las mujeres son tratados de igual manera en el trabajo? ¿Por qué y por qué no? Yeah. Then we have the text. Okay, this text is about closing the education gap. Okay, you have to read the text. Okay, appear some myth. Myth number one, engineer are not creative. Myth number two, engineer is harder for girls because of math. Myth number three, you will be the only girl in your engineering class, and etc. etc. Okay, and you then that you uh, read the text, you have to answer these questions. Okay, uh, let A identify the, the in the text the headline, byline, or author, lead or beginning, body or development and and quotation okay you have to identify the different parts of the newspaper and then the letter b what is the main topic of the text yeah c what is the purpose of the text d do articles written in different languages have the same structure compare it compare it with the news item from a Chilean's newspaper. And the last one, E, do you think it's more difficult for girls to become scientists or engineer? Why and why not? Ya tenemos esa última actividad según el texto, según las partes del diario. Tenemos que en la letra A identificar cuáles son el encabezado, ¿no es cierto?, el autor, El, el lead, ¿no es cierto?, donde va el comienzo, que es un poquito más grande la letra que otra, ya tiene una estructura. Esa estructura, como mencionaba más arriba, poder identificarla también en este texto. B, ¿cuál es, what is the main topic of the text? ¿Cuál es el tema principal? ¿Ya? ¿De qué se trataba? ¿What is the purpose of the text? ¿Cuál es el propósito del texto? ¿Qué es lo que nos quiere explicar? ¿Qué es lo que nos quiere Eh, dar o qué mensaje nos quiere dar ya o, o quiere dar a la, a la gente a las niñas los hombres qué sé yo de do articles written in different languages have the same structure ya en los artículos escritos en distintos lenguajes tienen la misma estructura de ahí te hace comparar no es cierto el ese esa forma con la de un diario o periódico en Chile ya si no Tienen la oportunidad de tener un diario físico, pueden ingresar a una página web de cualquier diario de Chile y les va a salir el diario online y ustedes lo pueden hacer esa comparación. ¿Ya? 
Y la última, do you think it's more difficult for girls to become a scientist or engineer? Why and why not? ¿Cree que es más difícil para las niñas convertirse o ser científica o ingenieras? ¿Por qué o por qué no? Ya, eso obviamente todo relacionado al texto que aparece acá. Ok. That's all. That's all the hangout number nine. Ok. Um, I think that it's very clear. Uh, that, ok, that's all. Ok. See you for the next video in two weeks more. For, um, for instance, um, you have to uh, care a lot about the uh, pandemic and um, take a healthy life. Okay? It's very important eat um, healthy, eat healthy, uh, drink water, okay? And wash your hands, wash your, your face. If you go to the street, use the mask and glasses too if you have the chance okay it's very important to care you and care your family okay so that's all see you guys